All right, all right, all right, all right. We going we got to cook. We got to cook today. Yes, sir. We got man. <laughs> man, man, man. We got to really cook, man, because uh I'm sorry. I'm not really a fan of Mr. Garland. With all due respect, I'm not a fan of Billy Garland. It 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 makes me sick to see the kissy the kissy up the kissing up in the comments you know of the interview on the Art of Dialogue channel it, it just people have no backbone no spine they go wherever the wind blow you know you know one day they hate they, they can hate somebody the next day he get on he get on the interview and they love him to death same way they did with Reggie Wright they villainized Reggie Wright hated Reggie Wright time Reggie Wright got uh, his own you know channel and start making videos now everybody want to be team Reggie Wright you see what I'm saying like where was y'all when he was getting dogged out when he didn't have a video nobody said nothing they a bunch of groupies, man. A lot of people just love to be groupies. Pretty much. That's what it is. They just love to be goddamn groupies. They have no mind of their own. You know what I'm saying? They just go along and get along, as Kwame Brown would say. And so let's, let's talk about Billy Garland, man. Cause I made a video about this guy a long time ago and my feelings haven't changed about this dude. Not a fan. With all due respect, uh don't uh, um I, with all due respect, I don't I don't I'm not trying to come off as disrespectful to this man or whatever, but I just think he's a groupie. I, I think he's a two part groupie. Pretty much plain and simple. Yes, I said it. I think he a two-part groupie. We ain't even going to get into the money part. I'm just saying the man a groupie, a two-part groupie, a groupie of his son. You know what I'm saying? A lot of fathers are like this, man. A lot of, I'm not saying a lot of fathers are, uh, yeah, when, when a lot of fathers are like this, yeah. When they found out that they, uh, you know, kid, when they haven't ever been in their kid's life, and when they found out that their kid became successful, now they want to go looking for the kid. Now they, now they trying to go find the kid. You know what I'm saying? They never uh, supported the, never supported the child uh, when he was growing up. But find out he he's fam he became famous. Oh, that's my son. I gotta go. Now they go. Now they. It had an excuse. They could never find him before, but now that he's rich and famous, oh man, they gonna go. They gonna go through through all type of turmoil to try to find him. You know what I'm saying? If they would put that same energy in trying to find him before he became famous, before they blew up, you know, they could have found him. But let's get let's get to Billy. Let's get into Billy, Mr. Billy Garland, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead. So, this dude, and, and, and Hood Smart Guy point, point, pointed this out also. So, Tupac, born in New York, 1971, stayed in, in New York for around, till he was about 13 years old, 12 or 13, right? It says in Wikipedia, it says in some other documents that he moved to Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland around 84 to 86, around that time. And so he was in the New York area all the way up to 13 years old. Right? And Billy Garland says he lived in Jersey City. So that's just right around the way. Matter of fact, I'm finna see Jersey City to New York. How far is that? That's 23 minutes. What? That's three miles. 
It says 3.7 miles, man. <laughs> From Jersey, you know, city to New York. It takes you about 23 minutes to get there on, in a car from Jersey to New York. But this is via Holland Tunnel, so I don't know. It says 23 minutes Holland Tunnel, via Holland Tunnel. Jersey City to New York distance. Holland Tunnel, I mean, so I guess that's, the, I don't know, what's that? is that a train? Holland Tunnel. I don't know, but anyway, via Holland Tunnel. What the hell is the Holland Tunnel? I gotta look that up because I'm not familiar with New York. W what is the Holland Tunnel? What is that? Port Authority of New York and New Jersey Holland Tunnel. So they connected. The Holland Tunnel is a vehicular tunnel under the Hudson River. That connects Hudson Square and Lower Manhattan in New York City. Okay. It's a vehicle tunnel. So it, 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 it's nothing but 23 minutes away. So, and we know they probably, they probably didn't stay three minutes away, I mean, 23 minutes away from each other. They probably stayed a little further. So let's say he might have stayed about 20 miles. Let's say even 40, 45 miles. I, I would say he probably stayed no further than about around 40, around about 45 miles or less from Tupac. If he still stayed in Jersey City. You know, so it probably would have took him about maybe anywhere from 35 minutes to an hour. If that much to get the pop, or maybe less, you know, I, I say because it said twenty three minutes, three point seven miles. So if he stayed, let's say about twenty miles, twenty to thirty miles, I, th I, I believe he stayed about twenty to thirty miles away from pop. So let's say an hour. You know, with all the traffic and everything, you know how New York is. And they know New York better than us, so they know they work their ways around traffic. So he could have got to park in like probably 15 minutes, 15 to 25 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes. You know, if he wanted to. You know what I mean? So this this whole thing, man, about a Feeney moving, he couldn't find Park, it's bullshit. You know, maybe it was a little harder to find Park, but you could have found him anywhere if you really wanted to find him. You know, now Feeney... If she didn't tell Park who his dad was, she wrong for that too. If she lied to him, didn't know who the dad was, she she wrong for that too. Let's keep it 100. She wrong for that too. She should have told him who his dad was. She know this, she know Park looked like Billy Garland. And I thought it was just a flame, but these people... According to Billy Garland, they dated for damn near two, almost two years. 18 months. Wow. Now, I didn't know that. I didn't know they dated that long. 18 months. So, this wasn't just no little fling. This wasn't just no one night stand and she ended up pregnant. According to Billy, it, it was an 18 month affair. You know? So, so like I said, Tupac lived in that area in New York City, not far 
from Jersey City until he was up to 12, 13 years old. And you mean to tell me Pop did never, never lay eyes on this dude during that time when this dude didn't stay that far from him? Tupac never laid eyes on Oh, according to Billy Garland, he saw Pop when, when Pop was a little kid, what, around three or four years old? You know, it seemed that he tells the story that, you know, he took Pop to his house, spent the night, to Pop spent the night. You know, it, it seemed like a one time thing. You know what I'm saying? Keep it 100. The way he told the story, it seemed like that was just, just that just was a one time thing, which is weird. It's weird that it's, there's no pictures of him and Pop together at when Pop was a kid. That's weird. I bet he got pictures of him and his other kids when they were young. But it's weird that, and, and, and I wonder. If he actually thought Pop was his or not, because he's light skinned and Pop dark skinned. Because some people, if you not if you light skinned and, and the baby don't come out light skinned, they they think it's not their baby. Some people think like that. You know, I got family members that think like that. Sometimes two 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 light skinned people can have a dark skinned baby. Sometimes two dark skinned people can have a light skinned baby. I got can have a brown, a light brown baby. I got people in my family like that. Two dark skinned people can make brown babies. You know what I'm saying? So some people are ignorant. And I wonder did he really think Pop was his when he was younger? Man, I don't know why he didn't cause Pop looked just like him when he was young. Only thing is, Pop was just dark, and, and some. And, and I wanted to think, oh, and then he dark skin, he ain't my kid, you know. I wanted to that have a fact. I wanted to that have a factor into the reason why he ain't come around. You know what I mean? And look at this picture of Billy Gunn. He looked. He made those same faces Pop make. In this picture right here. I, I've seen that face on Pop many a times. That that expression. With the eyebrows up and the. The kind of frown in the brow. Upturned brow. I've seen Pop with that expression. But uh. Billy full of shit man. I, 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 with all due respect I think he's full of shit. I think he's full of shit. Which the, the 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 interviewer don't hone in enough on why he stayed away from Tupac when he was younger. The interviewer is not doing a great job of uh, he asking him all these groupy questions about Faith Evans. Man, this man don't know anything about no Faith Evans and Biggie and all that. Stick to the the most the, the important part of him and Pop's relationship. Stick to that. You going all over the place talking about you asking group groupy questions, man. About faith. Like he know like, come on, he don't need he don't even need to be talking about faith. Or or Shook Knight or anything like that. You know? He need to be more talking about his, his, you know, his affiliation with the Black Panthers, his relationship with the Feeney, you know, how he how he received, how he found out when the Feeney got pregnant, how did he take it, you know, when he found out the Feeney got pregnant, did the Feeney tell him she was pregnant, you know, why didn't he get a DNA test, all that. None of these questions are being asked. You know what I mean? So, this guy has no excuse. 
this guy let pop let his son and like I said he probably didn't even believe pop was his son that's probably why he stayed away or if he did believe he was his son like man like what kind of man are you you got other kids I wonder are you a dad to those other kids if you can be a dad to those other kids why couldn't you be a, a, a father to Tupac you know I, these are questions that need to be asked and they're not being asked asked at all they letting him they, they, he's really giving him these little softball light footed ass questions that has nothing to do with him and Pop come on man do better and, and so let's get back so this dude like I said I'm not I'm not a fan of him I'm not a fan of Billy Garland Mr. Billy Garland I'm not a fan of him at all I think he's kind of a scumbag to be honest with you I think he's kind of a scumbag you know um for Park not to even know what you look like bro you're a fucking scumbag Park was 12 13 when he moved and for him not to know and you lived in Jersey City and for him not to know what you look like you're a scumbag for that for you to spend time with him when he was a kid you know so you knew it was a possibility that, that that's your son whether you claimed him or not you knew it was a possibility that that could be your son and how could you look at him and not think that's not your son he looked just like you even as a baby even as a little boy same bushy eyebrows you know same features you know it, it ain't hard to tell man it's not hard to tell I'm pretty sure he didn't look like legs you know what I mean so Billy Garland knew it was a possibility that that could be his son you know so that's why he, he, he took Park home with him. He, he he knew it. And if you had doubts, you should have got a damn DNA test. You know what I mean? And so, and if you didn't want nothing to do with him, which obviously you didn't want nothing to do with him, okay, stay away. Okay. You don't want nothing to do with a Feeney. You, you, you haven't been communicating with a Feeney. You haven't been coming around to see Tupac. And, 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 and the thing is, man, when you're young and all those people and all those people that a Feeney knew in the Panther Party all those people, you know, they got connections. You know, they got mutual um, people that they know. You know, they got mutual acquaintances that they both know. And they dated for 18 months. And where is Yah Yah Yasmin Fuller need to speak up on this too? Where you at, Yasmin Fuller? 
you've been quiet on Billy Garland. You you speak up on everything else. I wish you would speak up about Billy Garland and tell us because there's always two sides: his side, her side, and and the truth. You know what I'm saying? So, Miss Yasmin Fulu, please stand up. Tell us about Mr. Billy Garland. Is what he's saying legit? You know, does he have a um, excuse to say what he's saying? To not come around? Is there an excuse for that? For not coming around? Does he have Does he have a legitimate excuse for not coming around? He don't even claim that because they don't even get into that. You know, this this old softball interviewer with these old lame questions, he don't even get into the heart of why this man stayed away. Because he can relate the two podcasts. His mama lied to him about his father, this this Dale Ray Richardson. His mama lied to him about his father, so he feels some type of uh, he feels some type of what passion for for I don't know. He, 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 you know he put his he put his own feelings into the equation in his interview. He's tapping around very lightly because he can relate to Tupac. And he's trying not to offend Mr. Billy Garland, but you can ask questions and not offend, man. You got just got to be a good interviewer, man. You you suck, you suck, you suck right now. I I'm not feeling this. I don't care what in the com- I don't care what people say in the comments. They groupies. They groupies in the comments, bro. They fucking groupies. I don't respect groupies. Don't respect groupies at all. Bunch of fucking groupies. Don't respect them at all. At all, bro. You know? But, uh, and to, and Billy Garland to me is a groupie. Yasmin Fuller. Speak up on this guy. Let us know. Because I'm pretty sure you probably knew this guy. You was in the Bland Panther, Panther Party too, right? A lot of other, uh, and a lot, a lot, a lot of others was, was also. And you mean to tell me, people didn't come around, Tupac. Boy, you, boy, you know Liz ain't your dad. Boy, that Liz ain't your dad. I, I know who your daddy is. I know who your daddy is. Your daddy Billy Garland, boy. You mean to tell me niggas ain't come up the park and tell Pop that? No uncles, no OGs in the Panthers ever came up the park and said, because you know, a fiend probably would meet with people sometimes, would, would meet with the old crew sometime, or family members would get together. You know how family members talk? Family members, uncles, aunties get together. Flo, Flo ain't never t- t- said nothing to Pop about, boy, boy, Billy Garland, your daddy. I know I'm not, man, come on, man. In every nigga family, somebody going to tell them the truth. That's how God work. God work that way. Somebody going to tell you the truth about your dad. Your uncle's going to say something. Cousin going to say something. Friend of the family going to say, somebody going to tell you some of uh, Somebody going to tell you the truth about your daddy. Boy, that boy look like Billy. Boy, that boy look like Billy. That boy don't look like no lady. That boy look like Billy Garland. You know what I'm saying? And you mean to tell me nobody hit up Billy? Man, your son, grow, man, that boy look just like you. He grow, he growing up, man. You mean to tell me nobody ran across Billy Garland? They don't stay... They didn't stay too far from each other. And they both had probably the same mutual friends or acquaintances, him and Afeni. Especially being in the Black Panther Party. That's that's pretty much a family. You know what I'm saying? So it's strange that 
Tupac ain't never heard of the word of the name Billy Garland before. That's fucking strange. That now that's strange. Y'all mean you ain't tell Tupac about Billy Garland? Come on, man. Some ain't some ain't ain't stirring in the pots. Some ain't stirring in this pot right here, bro. Some ain't right. Some don't sound right. Cause like I said, somebody gonna say something. There's always somebody gonna say something. You can't keep this man name a secret for 25 goddamn for 23 goddamn years. Tupac never heard. It, it, it's just hard for me to believe Tupac never heard of the name Billy Garland. That could that could be your dad. You know what I'm saying? We need Tupac alive to answer that question. Tupac, you never heard that this man Billy Garland could be your dad all your years growing up. No OG, no uncle, no auntie, friend of the family ever came to you and said, Hey yeah, man, hey Paul, you know Billy Garland. Hey, you look like Billy Garland. That's your daddy, boy. That's your dad. You know how old you, you know how the goddamn uncle, you know how your fucking uncle, and sometimes your uncle will go take you to him. Or your auntie or somebody go take you to him. Take you to your daddy. You know what I'm talking about? It, it, it's just unnatural for that, for that to not ever have, to, for that to not have happened. When they stay very close. And it's unnatural for him, the dad, to stay away for so long unless he just gave up and then believed that was his son. You know, that's unnatural. The boy was a damn the boy was a fucking teenager and he never you never came around, bro. You came around when he was like three or four and never came back. Come on, bro. That don't make no sense. Something is missing. We got some information that we don't have enough info on this, man. That's strange. To my, maybe you could have visited him more. You think? That's an understatement. You missed eleven fucking years. You missed what? 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 Eight, nine fucking years. You didn't. You wasn't curious to see how he grew up, developed, and grew up. Damn, a fucking teenager living right around the corner from you, not too far from you. I think I think he gave up on. I think he just said, "Fuck it, that ain't my son." I think he just said that. Fuck it, that ain't my son, man. He too dark skin. That ain't my son. All my all my children are light skin. That ain't my son. He had something like that in mind. He had that in mind, like that ain't my son. You can't tell me he he thought, yeah, I got a son, and stay in New York. But I ain't going by there. Nah, it, that I believe he. Nah, that ain't my son. I don't believe that my son, man. She slept around with different dudes. Even though he looked like me, that ain't my son. I think he had that mentality. Until. Because he said, and, and, and you know how uh, people were still in his ear telling him about Tupac, and because you know how I know that because he said it. He said, "Hey, uh, I seen this movie." He's a friend of his, or somebody told him he's they seen this movie, and Tupac looked like your son was in the movie, Tupac. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. So you go see the movie. So he go see the movie and start crying. The freak you crying for? You crying because he made some of himself? Despite you? You crying because you guilty? Because you feeling guilty you, you wasn't in his life? And now he became a success in spite of you not being in this life, the rose that grew from the concrete, is that why you cry? Cause the man made some of himself without you. 
and you see your face when you look at him. You know you don't fucked up. Like men in society. You know you don't fucked up, right? A bastard of a dad, a bastard of a father. No, you don't fucked up, right? As you looking at that move, you know you don't fucked up, right? Yeah, you fucked up. You know that was your son when you looked at that movie. Deep down, you knew that was your son when he was a kid, and you gave up on him. So don't fucking come around. Now that he made something of himself, don't try to find me now, motherfucker. Don't look for me. You should have stayed away. If Pac thought you was dead, you should have remained dead. Don't come around being a goddamn groupie. Well, that's how, that's just how I feel, man. Because I feel, I really think he just a goddamn groupie. He only came around when he saw Pac made something of himself. Now, answer, ask, answer me this question. If Pac never was famous, never became famous, the man was 23 years fucking old at this time in Juice. Well, 19 years old, at, at, at 21, 19, whatever, in Juice, right? Nineteen years old in Juice, he claims that's when he started. I'm pretty sure he's telling the truth. Yeah, I, I bet you did start looking for him when you saw him in a movie. <laughs> he claimed that's when he started trying to get in contact with Pac. He saw him in Juice. Man, fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. If I were Pac, I wouldn't want to see you. I wouldn't want to see you either. If Pac, if Pac said that, you know. And I don't blame Afeni for not telling him. I, I really don't blame Afeni for not telling him that you was looking for him. Because Afeni was right. You just showed up when he blowed up. No. Stay away. Don't come around. Don't try to come around and, hey, I'm your daddy, man. What's up, man? I'm your daddy, bro. You did it. Why you, you're a big superstar now. I'm your daddy. Fuck out of here. Groupie ass nigga. Like I said, if Tupac never, if you never saw Tupac in a movie theater, I mean, if you never saw Tupac in a movie, he would have never thought about Tupac. You mean to tell me, ain't, ain't, you can't tell me this motherfucker would, would, would try to go looking for Tupac he was just a regular nigga. You know what I'm saying? He was a nigga working at the, uh, working at, Checkers or some shit. Working at a gas station. You know what I mean? You can't tell me he would try to go look for Tupac. Ain't no way in here because he knew what Tupac was and then go looking for him when he knew where he was living at. He didn't go looking for him then. What make you think he going to try to look for him when he grow up a little older? He would have never came looking for Pac if Pac was just a regular dude. He only was motivated to look for Pac when he saw Pac in the movies on the big screen. Now all of a sudden, that's my son. Now all of a sudden, I need to go try to find my son. Now all of a sudden, I'm, now all of a sudden, I'm going through hell and high water trying to locate my son. He's full of shit. Groupie, not genuine. That's a group. That's the definition of a groupie. Show up when you blow up. Like women, they do the same. Women do the same shit. They don't pay you no attention when you just a regular person. But all of a sudden, you got money, you got status. Oh, now they want to get with you. Same thing with this dude. Now he wanted to get with Pop. Come on, bro. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Like I said, I don't blame Afeni. She found out, oh, Billy trying to get in contact with Tupac. Fuck that nigga. Feeney said, fuck that nigga. Uh-uh. Ain't gonna even tell Pac about this nigga. 
This nigga want to show up now. Uh, I ain't even trying to talk about this nigga. Fuck this dude, man. You know, you could have died. Tupac could have died for all he cared. He wouldn't have gave a shit. He proved he didn't give a shit because he didn't come by. He didn't support Pac. He didn't look out for Pac. Get the fuck out of here. Tell me, and then he be... And then he the one need to get the fuck out of here be trying to copy the uh, mafia. Get the fuck out of here. Be trying to sound like Italians. You get the fuck out of here. Pop should have told you to get the fuck out of here when you showed up at this hospital bed. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm fucking 23 years old. Now you want to... Now y'all fucking see you for the first time in my whole fucking life. Get the fuck out of here. Got no picture with you. Never took a picture with you. You never came by. You got no pictures of me when I was a baby. Get the fuck out of here. Now you showing up because you saw me in the movie. Get the and I'm famous now. I'm a big I'm a, I'm a big star. Made some of my life. Get the fuck out of here, man. Pac 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 had a big heart because a lot of people would have told this guy to get the fuck out of here. Cool, I see you. I sh- I I see you. Okay, I know what you look like. You're not dead. Get a DNA test. Okay, you got a DNA test. Okay, you my dad. Okay, thank you. I know what you look. I know who you are now. Okay, bye, motherfucker. Bye. Fuck out of here. I don't need you now. I'm grown. A lot of niggas would have told him that. Fuck out of here. You don't deserve a penny. From me. How dare you? How dare you try to get money from the courts or try to sue a Feeney or whatever you try to, um, or, or however that happened, where you tried to get a, a, a settlement from the court? How dare you? You didn't support Pac growing up. You don't, you deserve nothing. From Tupac. You deserve nothing. You deserve zero. You didn't provide no support from Tupac. So you don't deserve no support. He didn't deserve that money that he got from the estate. Anybody can fucking make a baby, man. Anybody can have sex and make a baby. Takes a real man to want to uh, be there for responsibilities to to, to 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 handle their responsibilities. Now that's a different person. But like Pac said, wait, wait, what Pac said? No love for my daddy because the coward wasn't there. X step, he passed away. Part he might have well have passed away. No love for my daddy because the coward wasn't there. That's a that's the that's a statement. I think that fits Mr. Billy Garland, uh, with all due respect. I think that fits him. No love for my daddy because the coward wasn't there. Pop was right about that. It fits. It fits him. No love for my daddy because the coward wasn't there. A Finney should have told Pop who his real dad was. If she didn't know, she says she should have told him, well, you look like this guy. His name is so-and-so. Like I said, that that intrigues me. Nobody told Pop, you know Billy Gordon? You know that's your dad, right? You know that's your dad, boy? Nobody told Billy, hey, Tupac, he growing up over there. You know, I seen Tupac over there. You know, they, they stay over there around uh, on Bourbon Street now. You know what I'm saying? He getting big. He look just like you. Nobody told Billy that. Come on, man. Billy full of shit. Then had the nerve to want try to get some money. Man, this dude, a, this dude, a, a scumbag. I think he's a scumbag. He shouldn't even went to court. You ain't got no business in that damn court. You ain't support Tupac. Don't be trying to go to no court. You don't, he don't, don't nobody, don't nobody need to know you his dad. F- 
Fuck that. Just cause he famous. If he wasn't famous, your ass wouldn't be doing that. You wouldn't be trying to uh, fight to know that you his dad. You being a groupie. That's all it. That's all it's about. This niggas is just as being a fucking groupie. Tupac, the biggest fucking star in the world. He gon' he gon' be a groupie on that. He gon' capitalize off that sometime. He claim it wasn't about the money. So what it's about? Group you being a groupie? Get the fuck out of here. His favorite line. I'm using his line on him. Get the fuck out of here. Tell about it wasn't about the money. Get the fuck out of here. It was about the money from the beginning. When you first start looking for him, it's about the goddamn money. You when you saw him in the movie, it was about the goddamn money. Whether you want to admit it or not, being a groupie is about the goddamn money. When you break it down, it's always about the goddamn money, man. He full of shit. I don't care who liked this video. He full of shit. Got some nerve. Never gave two parts. No type of support, but got the nerve to want to take somebody. To, well, got the nerve to want to take a Feeney to court and sue a Feeney. This nigga got some fucking, this nigga got some nerve, bro. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have even thought about no court. You forfeited your right as a dad when you didn't support your child. You don't deserve no money, zero. Not for you, your kids, your grandkids, nobody. Now, if Tupac wanted to give you some money, that's on Tupac. That's his heart. He got a big heart. He got a loving. He had to be very loving and forgiving to want to give you something. He had to be very loving and forgiving. I I, I would have think that he'd be a goddamn fool for doing that, but that's just me. He has he has a much bigger heart than me. Because this man man intentions was not for the love of his son. This man intentions was for the love of money. It was for the love of the star power that his son had achieved. That's what his intentions was. You can't tell me different. Can't nobody tell me different. You ain't gonna never convince me different. None of that bullshit. Cause he didn't show up till he blowed up. That's evident. Don't give me this shit about he couldn't find his son. He full of shit. He is full of bullshit. He couldn't find his son. He finds him when he got them got famous though. He finds a way to find him when he got famous though. I tell you that. He could have used that same energy and found him before he became famous. <laughs> but when you want something, you always find a way to find it though, don't you? When you really want something, you're going to find a way to find it. Well, for you're going to hire some private investigator. You're going to do what you got to do to get something. And he damn sure did what he had to do to find Tupac in that hospital. I'm your daddy, man. I ain't dead. I just wanted to to know I wasn't dead. Shut the fuck up. You might as well have been dead. Man, I don't think he even... He don't even realize how much full of shit he, he is. Do he? He don't realize. He probably don't, he probably don't fool himself to really believe that he loved Tupac. He fooled himself to believe that bullshit. Nigga, you love the fame, nigga. You loved his star power. You loved his charisma. Once you got to watch enough interviews and... Oh, and see him on TV and know and see how he talk. You fell in love with with that guy, but you didn't fell in love with your son before he became famous. You didn't fall in love with with, with what you should have fell in love with. You fell in love with a goddamn character. <laughs> you ain't even really know Tupac. To be honest, you ain't know Tupac. And that's sad. That's sad, man. 
And that's why Finney didn't want you around, Tupac. You know? You know, not saying that she was right, she was wrong too, and she was in her in, in her way she was wrong because she didn't tell Pac about you. She was wrong too. But like I said, you got them. Some ain't right in the water in the Kool Aid for ain't no, for nobody to say. For Pac to not ever hear this man name for not for Pac to not ever see a picture of this man and I mean he ain't had no grandmamas or uncles. I said, I'm gonna find that boy. He stayed well. I'm gonna go find him. Ain't nobody on the daddy side go try to look for him, like brothers or uncles or aunties. Or, hey, my hey, uh, you Tupac over there? Yeah, uh, I'm Billy Garland's sister. You know what I'm saying? And none of that. None of his family member came looking for Tupac. That shit weird, bro. That shit weird. That shit weird, bro. That shit weird. Anyway, man, that's just been my opinion how I feel about Mr. Billy Garland, bro. I, like I said, I think he just just was a groupie of his son, man. Then show up to Tupac blowed up. Peace.